A very interesting post which you put out uh, some time ago. Where, what did you say? You mentioned <clears throat> farmers, farmers <laughs> use cereal to fatten up their cattle. Humans believe eating the same cereal will cause them to lose weight. I mean, that's just amazing. The <laughs> How did we come to this? Like, it's just hilarious. I just thought I, I just wanted to open up that subject. Yeah, I mean, that analogy is, of course, a bit, a bit harsh because it's hard to compare the physiology, anatomy and biochemistry of a cow directly to the metabolism of a human. But it just was, or the idea was, of course, to first provoke a bit or induce new thoughts at least and question a bit what exactly you're doing with your diet. I mean, the increasement of or severe or the epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes exactly started with the uh, industrial processing of carbohydrates and with the processing of the grains. And I just wanted to make sure that people don't forget or at least notice that fact before basing their diet on grains and carbohydrates, because that that's simply not natural for humans. And if somebody tells you something else, then they pretty much don't know what they're talking about. The absolute majority of humans evolution, we didn't live on carbohydrates primarily, especially during winter time. I mean, how are you going to live off carbohydrates during a winter period? It's not possible. So. Um, what you do is primarily consume yeah, animals, fats and, and protein. And that's also why <laughs> the essential macronutrients that we have are fats and protein. You can live without carbohydrates. I don't say that this is the ideal uh, way of uh, designing a diet for everyone. Um, carbohydrates have their place, especially when we work out a lot or also especially for the sleep rhythm, etc. It's not about cutting out carbohydrates entirely and that's the solution for everything. But the belief that carbohydrates all of a sudden are the primary element of human diet just because we have the ability to of agriculture and processing those and make them uh, get them into a larger shelf life and we can live off them. It's just not the case. It's not healthy. Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? How it did become a part of agriculture the moment, the moment we were able to um, start farming, you know? We were the hunter-gatherers and then we started farming. And I think that was the moment we also started to uh, gain deficiencies around that time. I mean, this is like even thousands of years ago, isn't it? Yeah, sure. I mean, like grains per se are not the are not the problem you know if we live in nature and it's summertime we will find some grains at some point and we can also perfectly it's perfectly fine to consume them what is the problem with the grains is first the processing and second the unnatural accessibility to such huge amounts um you don't eat a whole bag of oatmeal as a human or under under normal circumstances it's it's just not the case. 